in today's world of streaming and the after times, movie theaters are suffering. And I think it's going to be the cinemas that go up market, that have the best competitive edge. And today I am trying out what looks like the most premium movie theater in all of Kuala Lumpur. This is Orem at the Gardens Mall. They have various types of cinema experiences for you. You can have a private experience completely isolated in your own uh, theater. Now, I'm gonna be trying out one of their suites, which is just a cozy seat within a limited capacity theater. I am going to do that with my girlfriend, Monica Tyndall from The Yum List. Monica should be here any minute. We are going to watch Top Gun. I'm super excited. We will be watching that at five o'clock. And then as soon as the movie's over, we are going to the Gin Gastro Bar. We're gonna have some cocktails, eat some food, catch up properly and have just a ton of fun. Lemongrass. Hers is better, so we've ordered that for our second round. Stronger, less sweet. How did you like the movie? It was interesting. It was action-packed. <laughs> <laughs> it was so contrived, and you could tell what was going to happen around every corner. Every corner. It was very staged. Very, very staged. I was disappointed. I was so excited to see it. So, okay, we have ordered some food, and unfortunately, we forgot to talk. We had Wagyu burgers already. Those oh, were yeah. yummy. And we have some sea bass and a Cajun chicken salad. That it looks is. nice and healthy, some healthy options. Mm. All right, here's my recommendation for, we we ordered, oh, you had the Vietnamese spring rolls? The spring roll, Vietnamese spring rolls. Yeah. Healthy, yummy. Nice. Healthy, healthy and fresh, yeah, very spicy sauce. Oh, nice. Okay. I only ordered popcorn. We had tea, which was nice. The tea was really good. It was popcorn good. is super sweet, so if you have a sweet tooth, it's good if you like it sweet. Yeah. Very the, sweet. The crockery and how, how they serve everything is lovely. The, the wine glass is beautiful. I yeah. ordered a glass of wine. Okay, that was seven sips of wine. So I would say if you're going to have wine, buy a bottle because it would have been three times the cost of the bottle to have that equivalent in, in glasses. Service was very attentive. There's a button on the table you can push to have someone come and attend to you. Hey! Thank you! Thank you! Okay, cheers to that! Okay guys, so this is the main bar here, which is very cute. But when we came out of the cinema, there was a group that was here, which would be a super fun place to come for a birthday party or some corporate event. Um, they were having so much fun. But in the end, we decided to go to this little area here. We sat there, we were watching movie trailers, which is really fun. Monica and I both really like that. They make delicious gin and tonics. So if you come, try the lemongrass gin tonic. It was very good. Okay, in Malaysia, they have crazy cold movie theaters. I don't know what it is. Like, 
We literally were covered up with our blankets to our eyeballs. Monica even had her mask on, it was so cold. That's the only complaint I have. Okay, also, Top Gun was not good. <laughs> this is the only place that has this kind of table side service where you can order cocktails or a bottle of wine. The wines that they have are nice. Um, it's like basic level, it's not anything very premium, but they had like Spanish Sangre de Toro. So I highly recommend this entire experience. I would next time eat my food uh, while the movie's going on. The Wagyu sliders were yummy, totally recommend them. What else did we really like? Sea bass was good, but I don't think in a movie theater you want to order any fishy things and annoy your your neighbors. There's tons to try. The popcorn was yummy. You're gonna have a great time. Completely highly recommend this. This definitely is the most premium and wonderful place to come for a movie. Next time I'm gonna choose the movie better. I was looking forward to that movie. I, I literally waited a month to come here to do this video because I was waiting for Top Gun because I really wanted to see that. It was terrible. It was like the most, well, it's like they were, I think taught to do things in a way with the acting. It was very contrived. You knew exactly what was coming. There was no surprises because everything you could tell was gonna happen. Like we were predicting everything just as a joke after a while. Um, the acting was also really bad. It's like, look right, look left. He's saying something interesting, lean in, bad. Okay, again, not Orem's fault. They had nothing to do with that, but I was very disappointed. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening, wherever you are in the world. I send a big hug, a big kiss, stay safe. Ciao, guys.